that seems like an appropriate way to kick things off, considering. <laughs> Anyways, greetings, everybody! T Prower once again. I'm really sorry I've been lax with videos lately. No certain due date for Season 7 made me feel kind of lazy. Even though I have been pretty active on Twitter, mostly in captioning MLP screen caps. <laughs> but with Season 7 less than a month away, it's time to try and get back into the swing of things. We've got a whole lot more to look forward to this year as well. The rest of Samurai Jack Season 5, which is freaking awesome so far. The DuckTales reboot this summer. The Cabin Underpants movie. And of course, the MLP movie. But right now, it's pony time! Today, we're going back to what could possibly be considered the quintessential Pinkie Pie episode. The one that simply is Pinkie Pie. Without further ado, let's jump right into Season 2, Episode 18, A Friend Indeed. Let's get to it! Just another beautiful day in Ponyville. Alright, ponies! Time to get off those pudgy rumps and get those flabby flanks a-moving! Time to start the day off right! Pinkie Pie style! Let's do this! That's right, gotta keep the tongue nice and limber for silly faces and raspberries. Happy! Sad. Happy! Sad. Proper eye coordination for kooky faces, always essential. Look out, babies! It's a pinky quake! Man, tough crowd. Ooh, ouch! Bonk, bonk, bonk. Pain is funny! <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pinky, good on you for having an exercise routine, but you'll always be my little fatty pie to me. <laughs> Hello, Daisy Joe. Good morning, Daisy Joe. You here to pick up some cookies to go with your milk? Oh, yeah, Pinky, don't you know? Well, it's a shame we don't see cows talking anymore. Eh, I'm more of a chocolate chip guy myself. I'm sorry, Rose, but that voice just doesn't suit you. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> nice heel click, Pinks. She's a real charmer, alright. Thank you, Pinky. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Cheerilee. Happy birthday, Zakora. What a lovely high, Miss Pinky Pie. Hello, Zakora. Happy birthday to you. In 132 days. What a Pinkie memory. Pie. How do you remember everything about every pony? Because she's Pinkie Pie, Matilda. And I love to see my friends smile. <laughs> Got that right. And here we go. The song that pretty much Pinkie is Pinky's theme. Kinda poor planning on your part, Apple Cobbler. Actually, that's Noi and Blue. No pony stays sad on Pinky's watch. Tally ho, Big Mac! Even Cherry Berry can't help smiling. There now, all better. On to the schoolhouse. Hey, Schooloo! Hey, Dinky! Hoof bump! Aw, poor Apple Bloom. Upsa Daisy. There you go, honey. She's 
Jeez, how'd you get stuck doing that all by yourself, AJ? Now that's a masterpiece. Unavoidable, sadly. Uh-oh, double pinky, and before season three, even. And what's that, my dear? Follow Pinky, every pony. Everybody, do the Pinky Hop. Hello, Mayor Mayor. And there they are, Pinky's absolute best friends. All together now! Come on, every pony, smile, smile, smile. Fill my heart up with sunshine, sunshine. All I really need is a smile, smile, smile from these happy friends of mine. What better way to bring the whole town together than a big musical number? Am I right? Six seasons in, and it's still an awesome song. Also, hi Cranky. I've never seen you before. Kid, you're smarter than you look. Thanks. I'm uh, Pinky, he What's just doing? said you look stupid. Property of CDD. -D. I'm guessing that last D is for donkey. Brilliant Wait, deduction, you? Pinks. Now how about that C? Hmm. Calvin, Calhoun. <laughs> Better stop her soon, Cranky. She will keep going until she gets it. Cranky! It's Cranky, alright! <laughs> Wonder how you ended up with that name. I'm sorry? No. Sorry, pal. I don't speak mumble. Uh, doodle. <gasps> so you're a Cranky Doodle Donkey? Why, yes! So Equestria is aware of the tunes to songs that we know. Unless this is Pinky being Pinky, and no one else but probably Discord will understand. Probably the latter. Come on now, Doodle! Give us a smile! Nope. Nope, he calls me Doodle! They call me Mr. Doodle! What just happened? A little thing called rejection, Pinks. Introduce myself, check, sing random song out of nowhere, check, become instant best friends, I'm check. Huh, <laughs> so that's how your I'm mind kidding. works. How can some pony not become instant best friends with me? Was it something I said? Was it something I say? One, I'd be best friends with you in a heartbeat, Pinks. Two, it was kind of both. You both said and sang a name he didn't want to be called. So, yes... And yes. This is no time for the blame game, Pinky. There's some pony new in town, and you need to win him over. Try everything you can to make Cranky smile and be your friend. Check! <laughs> you know, I'm not even surprised when she breaks the fourth wall anymore. Alright, Pinky. If you're gonna win Cranky's friendship, you're gonna have to bring your A game. Be the most Ready? Pinky you can be, Pinky. Oop, first mistake. You called him Doodle again. So, uh, are you moving to Ponyville, Cranky? What gave you the hint there, kid? A cart full of stuff, maybe? Eh, well, maybe. I can show you around. It's the least a new friend can do. And that first pony perspective. Listen, kid, I traveled around Equestria my entire life. I've made many friends. I don't need any more. 
Well, from what we learn in Slice of Life, the only other friend we know you have is a fabulous sea serpent with a very nice moustache. Gosh, I could never have too many friends. Hello. Well, why don't you go and make some more? Because you're I the only one she has yet to make friends I with. Stay and make friends with you. Look, kid. You... Oh, Cranky, you can call me Pinky. All of my friends do. <laughs> Miss Pie, you're trying Look, to seduce me. Kid. I came to Ponyville for some peace and quiet and privacy, to be alone with my memories. All yeah, no offense, again, but she's the wrong point to expect stuff. that from. What does this bobble do? Didi, get out of my wagon! Ah, what's this? Whee! Don't! Oh, look at these! Musical? Keep your hooves off my wagon! Hey, he called you Pinky. It's a start. Brain blast. I promise not to hit your wagon. I got one of my own. I use it to welcome folks. A literal welcome wagon. Maybe we can be wagon buddies. I'll be your wagon buddy. Just let me get a wagon. But at least let me give you the special welcome that comes with it. Actually, you kind of do, Cranky. According to the Ponyville Town Charter. Section 7, subsection 4, paragraph 3. <clears throat> In the event of any pony visiting or moving into Ponyville without prior visitation to said town, he or she must undergo the official Ponyville welcome by Pinkamina Diane Pye or her representatives in the event of indisposition. But also, you have to because of this. Who could possibly say no to that face? Let's get this over with. See? Not even Cranky can say no. Wow, thanks for rupturing his eardrums. Giving your vocal cords a workout today, Pinks. Whoops! What a mess! Oh, silly me! I must have put the confetti in the oven and the cake in the confetti cannons! Again! <laughs> and how often does this happen, pray tell? Still delicious! Try some, Cranky! It's sure to make you smile! Where is it? Where is it? Where's what? Uh, I don't know if he'd want that back of his bed on your butt, Pinks. No offense. <laughs> Reminds me of the tarantula bit from Disorder in the Court. Oh, was that your wig? To pay or not to pay? That is the question. Look, Pinks, I know you're just trying to help, but you're not going to win him over with crap like this. In fact, you're just making things worse. I have had enough! Better than nothing, I guess. Oh, you're losing him, Pinky. You barely have him to begin Please, with. Please, let me make it up to you. No! Come on, Cranky. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do your stuff, Aloe, Lotus. Looking good, Cranky. But still as big an Eeyore as ever. I have a gift for you. The spa treatment was gift enough. It's not going to explode or anything, promise. Just open it. Yeah, she's not Jokey Smurf, at least. It's a new toupee. I had my friend Rarity make it. She calls it the Dream Boat Special. A.K.A. the Johnny Bravo. This is wonderful. Thanks, kid. A genuine thank you. But no smile for you just yet. Still no smile. Hmm. Nice place you chose, Cranky. What you doing there, old buddy, old pal? What 
does it look like? Looks like moving day to me. I'll give you two bits for this. I swear, Pinky. One of these days you're gonna get stuck popping out one of your improbable spots. You almost did in your own mailbox in Wonderball Academy. This is so pretty. Where'd you get it? Manhattan. Now put it down. Gently. Slowly and gently, Pinks. Trying to find a friend. Foreshadowing. <laughs> of course, Pinks. Like me? No, you're extra special, kid. Oh, ouch. Yes, I'm in. I don't think he meant that in a nice way, Pinky. You get this, Cranky? Philadelphia. It's awfully pretty. Yeah, she was. Oh, let I mean, that slip, didn't you? Yes, it's pretty. Now put it down. Touched a nerve, did we? I wonder where Cranky got this. Huh? Will you look at that? <sighs> look, Pinky. I at least know that by your own admission in Bridal Gossip, you'd never heard of personal space. Even so, unless it wasn't something practiced among you and your sisters, growing up with three of them ought to have at least taught you not to go rummaging through someone else's personal books, journals, or diaries. It's common sense, girl! Hey, Cranky, can I ask you about- Uh-oh. Oh, crap, baskets. It was an accident, Cranky. A big one, but an accident. There! Uh, all better? Uh, no. Not all better, all soggy! And kind of burnt. Oh, you're sorry. Well, then everything is fine. It is? No! Sarcasm is a foreign language to you, isn't it? I will never be your friend. Never or never ever. Never, ever, 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 ever! Hey, that wasn't an option, you cheater. That's four evers. That's like... Forever! Logical and disheartening. I just can't believe it. Cranky said he would Hi, never, Twilight. forever be my friend. It was horrible. Oh, Pinky. I know this is hard for you, Pinky, seeing that you're friends with every pony, but you just have to accept that Cranky is going to be an exception. He just doesn't hey, Dash. want to be bothered. Yeah, he doesn't want to be bothered by your over-the-top super hyper antics. Rainbow! Well, she's not exactly no, wrong. It's okay, Twilight. I get what you're saying. What you're both saying. And I guess I can leave Cranky alone. That's my girl. Right after he accepts my apology. And she completely missed the point. Poor Cranky. Cranky. No! No! Leave me alone! Okay, Cranky. I feel it's only fair to tell you this right off the bat. You can run as fast and as far away as you can, but you will not escape Pinkie Pie when she sets her mind on you. Just ask Rainbow Dash. She'd know. Now that's a quick way to get the apples down. It's like the wolf trying to escape Droopy. Ooh, now that's creepy. And that's even creepier! Now where did that statue go? She doesn't even need the mirror pool to be everywhere at once. Nice place you got here. You ruined my book. You destroyed all I have to remember her by. Yeah, that kind of was a big boo boo, Pinky. Go away, Pinky. Brain blast again. Hard not to feel sorry for the poor guy. Me again. I understand that you don't want to be my friend or accept my apology. Before I leave you alone forever, I have something to at least try to make up for ruining your book. Just no, give her the chance, Cranky. Anything you would give me is sure to lead to some sort of disaster. 
Goodness, you really are cranky. Oh, he knows that voice. Step aside, Pinky. Look who it is. Is it really you? <laughs> Gotta look presentable. It can. And it is. Matilda. But how? Pinky. That's my girl. I never told you about her. You didn't have to. I put two and two and two together, and it added up to Matilda. It's Pinky. Well, Don't question it. About your souvenirs, you said something about trying to find a special friend. And you know, I wasn't just born yesterday. Nuh-uh, my birthday isn't for another 75 days. May 3rd to be exact. And then, in your scrapbook, there was a flower, an old ticket, and a menu from the Grand Galloping Gala. And I knew I recognized all these things. But the power of her Pinkie Pie them? memory. Because I also have them in my scrapbook. And I'd seen them in Matilda's book. With permission, I'd hope. Oh, Matilda. The night we met at the gala was the most magical night of my life. Flashback! Old-timey flashback, too. I couldn't wait to see you again. Aww. When I came to your room the next day, you were gone. That Did sucks. You my note? No, I never got it. You could have put it in a more noticeable spot, Since Matilda. Since that day, I've gone from town to town to town, searching all over Equestria for you. Until Losing hope and his I hair all the while. I came to Ponyville to retire from my search. I was living in Ponyville the whole time. <laughs> what are the odds? I always hoped that someday you would come and find me. Doodle? Uh, Matilda? No pony calls him Doodle. No pony, but Matilda. Aww. <laughs> oh. Pretty sweet sight, isn't oh, it, Pinks? Doodle. I am so happy to see you. Oh. Come on, Cranky, you can do it. There you go. That's what Pinky's been waiting for all this time. So does this mean that you accept my apology? Yes, Pinky, I accept your apology, and I am honored to call you my friend. Oh, you just said the magic words. <laughs> Who needs fireworks when you got Pinky? Now that'd be quite a party. Or maybe something less over the top and not so super hyper. Ah, you're learning, Pinks. But uh, Matilda and I just want to spend some time together in peace and quiet. Oh, just the two of them. Are we still friends? Pinky, you went way, way, way out of your way to make me happy. Of course we're friends. How could you not be after all that? Dear Princess Celestia, there are many different kinds of friends and many ways to express friendship. Some friends like to run and laugh and play together, but others just like to be left alone. That's fine, too. But the best thing about friendship is being able to make your friends smile. Absolutely, she Pinky. She had a cranky doodle sweetheart. She's his cranky doodle joy. I have the cranky doodle boy. Yes, I have the cranky doodle boy. Pinky? Whoops, privacy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. It feels good coming back to this episode. Like I said, it's pretty much the epitome of Pinkie Pie, showing us everything that our pudgy pink party pony pal is. Is she silly? Yes. Is she hyper? Yes. Can she be annoying at times? Yes. But, while Pinkie is a goofy, hyper, and chaotic pony, underneath all that, she's also a very sweet, affectionate, and lovable mare with a lot of love to give. This pony's got a heart as big as a barn, as warm as a furnace, as soft as a marshmallow, and as pure as gold. And she's not shy in showing it. You'll be hard-pressed to find a pony in Ponyville who doesn't like Pinky, and she has an incredible memory when it comes to her friends. 
Who wouldn't want a friend like her? Well, Cranky Doodle Donkey at first. He's probably the first equestrian not immediately won over by Pinky's charms, or amused by her antics. He just wanted to be left alone with the memories of his sad and lonely past. But that's pretty difficult when you have a pony like Pinky around. She was only trying to make him smile and feel welcome. And while her heart was in the right place, she wasn't exactly endearing herself to him most of the time. She didn't understand that not everyone enjoys the same things. Some like being loud, noisy, and silly, and some just like peace and quiet, and there's nothing wrong with that. It took Pinky finally finding a solution to Cranky's problem to bring that home to her, and what a solution it was! Reuniting him with his long-lost love! After something like that, how could you not become friends? A wonderful, charming, heartwarming episode with an amazing song to boot. Until next time, see ya!